Noah Vatten was sentenced to an additional one year and 11 months of jail time Thursday afternoon for fatally stabbing Issa Carrier during the Canada Day celebrations of 2018 in downtown Kelowna. The sentencing comes after a lengthy trial that spanned much of 2021, which ultimately ended with Batten pleading guilty to delivering the fatal stab wound to Carrier's chest during a swarming attack near the Queensway bus station. Vatten fled the scene and wasn't arrested until January 2019. During the trial, Vatten maintained he didn't remember the evening in question, but during cross-examination in September, Vatten broke down while viewing for surveillance footage of the killing and agreed he had stabbed Carrier. Carrier's parents made the trip from Ontario for Thursday's sentencing. I think in this case, justice this was, was found to some degree. Uh, obviously, we feel sorry for, for this young man to some degree, but it doesn't change the crime. The, the important thing is that you learn from these mistakes and that you give back more than you can, that you've taken. And that's a big task. It's a huge task. And if you can even achieve half of that, that would be wonderful. Lisa was a very loving and kind person. And although he had a small stature, he, he always defended everybody. And he loved nature and he, just, he was just very kind and loving. He was a sweet kid. He was a sweet kid. <laughs> They urged Vatten to honor their son's life by turning his own life around. I think for, for Noah specifically, I think, you know, it's how much time does he need to actually change and become a better person. So for him, jail time, it, it might not be something that specifically helps him. It's more of just going and embarking on that process and becoming a better person at the end of it. I feel like he could probably change outside of jail inside jail to whatever helps him do it the quickest way and the best ways what we would prefer it's hard to say what that is batten told the court he's quit drinking since the incident and he's focused on becoming a functioning member of society he'll serve an additional three years of probation following his jail sentence for castadent news here at the Kelowna courthouse i'm nick johansson